Do you know about the time a fighter pilot shot down five aircraft in just 60 seconds? In the 1960s, the world was in the grip of a cold war. While superpowers like the United States and the Soviet Union dominated the skies, another air force in a smaller, less publicized corner of the globe was quietly making its mark, the Pakistan Air Force. This is the story of how against all odds, the PAF emerged as a force to be reckoned with in one of the most critical decades of South Asian history. To understand the significance of the Pakistani Air Force in the 1960s, we first need to understand the regional and global context. Pakistan had gained its independence in 1947, and by the 1960s it was locked in a bitter rivalry with its neighbour India. This rivalry came to a head in 1965 during the Indo-Pakistani War where air superiority would play a critical role. On a global scale, the Cold War was shaping alliances and arms deals, with both superpowers eager to gain influence over newly independent nations. Pakistan found itself at a crossroads, strategically important, yet vulnerable. Its air force, the PAF, had to evolve quickly. In the early 1960s, the Pakistani Air Force was undergoing rapid modernization. Under the visionary leadership of Air Marshal Asghar Khan, the PAF sought to transition from a fledgling post-colonial force into a highly capable modern air power. Key to this transition was acquiring state-of-the-art aircraft. Pakistan received F-86 Sabres from the United States, which became the backbone of its fighter fleet. These jets, equipped with advanced radar and weapon systems, gave the PAF a technological edge over many regional rivals. The PAF also became one of the first air forces in the region to operate supersonic jets thanks to the acquisition of the F-104 Starfighter, a marvel of engineering at the time. With this modernization came rigorous training programs. Pakistani pilots trained with some of the best in the world, honing their skills in dogfighting, precision strikes and aerial reconnaissance. Little did they know, they would soon be tested on a grand scale. In 1965, the simmering tensions between India and Pakistan erupted into full-scale war. The skies of South Asia would become a battleground, with the Pakistani Air Force playing a pivotal role. One of the most famous encounters of this war was the Battle of Chawinda, where PAF fighter pilots flew daring missions to provide air support to ground troops, repelling a large Indian armored advance. The Sabres proved highly effective in these close support roles, showcasing their agility and firepower. But it was in the skies where PAF pilots truly made their mark. The dogfights over Kashmir and Punjab were fast and fierce. Pakistani pilots, many of whom were trained in the US and the UK, fought with precision and determination. One pilot in particular emerged as a national hero, squadron leader Muhammad Mahmoud Alam, effectively known as MM Alam. In a single sortie on September 7, 1965, he shot down five Indian aircraft in less than a minute, cementing his place in aviation history. While Pakistan was allied with the US, it also sought to diversify its military partnerships. In the mid-1960s, a little-known yet critical relationship developed between Pakistan and China. As part of this strategic alliance, the Chinese supplied Pakistan with Shenyang F-6 fighter jets, an export version of the Soviet MiG-19. These jets, though less advanced than Western counterparts, played a crucial role in the PAF's air defense capabilities. Pakistani pilots trained with their Chinese counterparts, learning new tactics and operational strategies. This partnership with China would continue to shape the PAF capabilities in the decades to come. The 1960s were a defining decade for the Pakistani Air Force. Its modernization, its success in the Indo-Pakistani War of 1965, and its strategic alliances with both the US and China laid the foundation for the Air Force we see today. The PAF became known for its professionalism, its ability to adapt to new technologies, and the skill of its pilots. MM Alam's record-breaking feat, the courage of its pilots in combat, and the innovative training programs have become the stuff of legend. Today, the Pakistani Air Force continues to evolve, but its legacy was excellence was forged in the skies of the 1960s, a time when it stood against all odds and held on its own in a region fraught with conflict. From its humble beginnings to a place on the global stage, the story of the Pakistani Air Force in the 1960s is one of resilience, innovation, and courage. It's a reminder that even the most challenging of circumstances, excellence can soar to great heights. If you liked today's video, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and comment what you want to see next. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.